Hello beautiful Virgo, how are you today? All cross watchers are welcome and are, we're delighted to welcome new visitors as well as our regular subscribers. For all their support, I want to say thank you. Let's look and see. We have balanced spirituality and practicality, which is the full moon in Pisces energy. So, Virgo, interesting energy. It's your seventh house. So be spiritual and practical. Okay, new love coming in for Virgo. Let's see what we have. Three shuffles for Virgo, please. Give us the best and highest messages. Clear messages for Virgo in love. Three shuffles. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm going to call it a day. At the bottom of the deck, we have some disappointment. But look at this reading that popped out. So... You have a soulmate, Virgo, somebody with whom you really love, somebody who could be very different from yourself, a different culture, a different ethnicity, a different part of the world. It does look like you are suffering from some sort of uh, hurt, heartache, disappointment at this time. The Three of Swords says that it does look like the two of you have broken up. Uh, no wonder it calls for spirituality and practicality. The way your person sees you or the way lovers see you, the way you're appearing to the world is somebody who would everybody would love to grow old with. So you look very good. It's Taurus energy, great energy for attracting new love. Uh, we see that you really want to grow old with someone. You want to be with someone that feels like a soulmate and someone who shares the same values as yours. Virgo, it does show at the present time that you have just had a major accomplishment, a major cycle through your work life in which you likely received a raise or a promotion that is really uh, been the focus for you at the time. That's the practicality part of the reading. This energy is helping you heal. The energy of being busy, Virgo, is helping you when you rest at night, you're sleeping hard, you're giving up the heartache. Let's see what's hidden in your energy. The Nine of Cups, joyfulness, delight. Nine of Cups is Pisces, energy, eat, drink, be merry, have fun. You know, what you want is a relationship that does not cause any turmoil, a relationship that's just joyful and happy. Don't we all want that? Oh, look at that. The Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Virgo, you are about to meet somebody or you've just met someone who may become your long-term partner. We have a beautiful Libra Queen for your outcome saying that you will cut out anybody, anything, any relationship that doesn't meet your very exacting requirements you want no nonsense you want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so i really like that energy for you it's very powerful energy the libra queen is certainly someone who knows how to get balance and libra rules the seventh house of marriage so what a smart advisor you're using your libra queen inner sources as your advisor good so we have ooh judgment card so, to have a new love, you have given up an old. To have a new love, you gave someone. It looks like many of you have given up on a relationship in which you were in a third-party situation. It looks like you're healing from it. It does look like it could be twin flame soulmate. Or this is a new lover that you have found after this energy of giving up on somebody. So it really is, it can be read both ways. The Six of Wands says that you are looking for victory and love. That's Leo energy. We have Scorpio energy. Why do we have the Three of Swords card here? There we go. You have given somebody up. You are healing Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. The energy here of the Libra Queen twice. Very nice energy. You are really finished with this person. Look at that. You are taking your sadness you have put it in a bag and tossed it. You've tossed it. Good for you, Virgo, Virgo. All right, the Six of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Wands. You have fire in your belly for somebody who is close to you. I do think some of you could be dealing or, you know, attracting a Gemini. 
energy, somebody with whom you communicate. Kind of a, it's a soulmate energy. You have fire in your belly. You have two soulmate cards back to back. Happily ever after marriage card. The six of wands is an engagement card oftentimes. Why is the world card here? What is closing out in the lives of our Virgo friends? Lightweights in love. Ooh, Virgo, Virgo. No fishies in a cup for you. You want a major love life. You want somebody who's worldly, who's sophisticated. You are attracting that. You are attracting, again, it could be somebody from another country, another culture, somebody who's very successful. Aquarius energy, Gemini energy, Taurus energy, uh, Libra, 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 uh, Leo, Pisces, and Pisces. So could be those signs, but they can just be energies also. So what is it that you feel will give you a victory in love at this time? The Emperor, oh my goodness, Leo, you weren't kidding. You are attracting a very, a very worldly person who is an Emperor energy. Somebody who is at the top of their game. They're the best you know, best in show, so to speak. This person is very, um, very powerful in their career. They're a leader in the community. <clears throat> this person that you're attracting, though, is um, they like to have fun. The person you're attracting is Aries energy, Mars energy, but they also like to have a great deal of fun. But we're also seeing the energy for you of someone who tends to want things their way. Just a heads up. Okay, so after having lots of fun, eating and drinking and being merry, you might be a little bit broker than you have been. <laughs> you might have spent too much money. The world card says that you are entering a new phase of monetary uh, acclaim, that you are stepping up in the world, that a lot of your happiness that you soothed with uh, having fun well, you're kind of over that now. You've moved on. Now you want something serious. Spirit is, oh my God, the Ten of Cups is clarifying the Ten of Cups. You have a double. The Spirit is not only advising you to only go for relationships that resonate with deep emotional love. Here you are. You have manifested deep emotional love. My gosh, well, Pisces is your seventh house. That is your marriage house. So if you attract a Pisces, it looks like you're going to have a very lovely person with whom you can enjoy a lot with. Just day-to-day -day life is sweet, it's kind. Day-to-day -day life involves children and just love. It's a love festival. Virgo, there you are. No, that's Taurus energy in your reading. Taurus energy. So you're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. For those of you who have divorced or have chosen to make a split with somebody in which you owned property, it looks as though you go from feeling very blue about your money to very good about your money. A new relationship coming in will be with someone who can take care of themselves, who has abundance and wealth. The Six of Swords, you are moving away. It looks like you could be moving physically, but it does look like you are about to join a lover in a new life, in a new home, and you are once again Four of Swords healing energy. Four of Swords, Four of Swords. So you still have some bumps and bruises here, but you are managing to make it through. You are making the best of the situation. But not only that, you are super happy. You don't see it yet. It is on its way. I would say some of you might be quite skeptical, but Page of Pentacles, you have some sort of knowledge something you could actually meet this person through school if you're engaged in any advanced education or college we're seeing your person oh the sun card leo energy sometime this summer summer's only a few months longer it only goes until the 21st where it goes so you have a brand new love affair you have a brand new beloved person in your life and there may be an age difference, there may be a difference in terms of your backgrounds, but we get a beautiful energy here for you that speaks to a lot of happiness after some heartbreak. 
So let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has in store for you. This is an exceptional reading. Soulmate energy, happiness, joy, the potential to be married, almost guaranteed with someone that you meet in the near future. Could be, again, all the, any sign. It could be any sign. But somebody who's very successful with the two world cards and the emperor. We have the whale song. I hope this reading is resonating with you because it is resonating with spirit. And that is your message, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.